about Myrtle Beach's noise ordinances. Some small business owners we spoke with are as well as today the council unanimously passed a change that would apply to all motor vehicles. WMBF News reporter Greg Argos was at that meeting. He joined us live from one of those businesses in Sockasty. And Greg, why are they upset there? Michael, businesses like this one here in Sockasty say that now that this new noise law ordinance applies to all motor vehicles, not just motorcycles, they're upset that some of their vehicles, their larger vehicles like this concrete mixer, may not actually pass the noise test. And well, that's a very legitimate concern. If you take a look at the engine, we actually measured this earlier this afternoon. It came in at 96 decibels, well above the 89 decibel limit. And well, now it's not just motorcyclists that are worried about this new noise law anymore. Gary Belkin has been a motorcycle rider almost all of his life. He says he's been against Myrtle Beach's noise law since it was first introduced. With all the motorcycles like this in Myrtle Beach, they'd almost have to get another police force to enforce all the bikes. The city council voted today to amend the current noise ordinance to include all motor vehicles, not just motorcycles. The new law also allows vehicles to idle at 89 decibels, two decibels higher than the previous law. And for Balcom, that's a good thing. His bike registers well above the limit at 106 decibels, and he says he's not going to change it. Yeah, we like our bikes the way they're set up, and we're not going to change them to appease them. But it's not just motorcyclists that are worried over the new noise laws. It's companies that use big machines like this concrete company that are worried as well. It's hard for us in, in the business world, especially when you're running these, this type of equipment, uh, it's hard to keep it quiet. Ron Weber is the division manager for Ready Mix Concrete. His company is just outside of Myrtle Beach, but he says a lot of business is within city limits. Well, we yeah, one well, we the county and then get a new city yeah. and we go into the city. Weber says his trucks are as quiet as possible. We'll be all right. We should be able to get in under the 89. But when we tested one truck, it peaked at 95 decibels. But like Falcon, Weber says there is little he can or will do. No, I don't think you can change the vehicle. See, that's the problem. I think what you end up having to do then is, uh, is you're going to have to go ahead and fight it. Now, I just talked to a city spokesperson. He tells me the fine for violating this noise law can be up to $500 and up to 30 days in jail. Reporting live here in Soccer Seat, Greg Argus for WNBF News. All right, Greg. The Horry County Council is talking bike rallies as well. Council members are taking a look at how Myrtle Beach, as well as other towns in our area, deal with the rallies. The council has already voted to limit permits and where vendors can set up during the rallies. WBF News reporter Brandon Herring is at the meeting. He'll have a full report for us tonight at 11 on WBF News. Yeah.